We do have a, a Wander Liang after his victory against Alex Lenderman. Wander, first of all, congratulations. Uh, Thank you. A difficult tournament up to this point, especially the game yesterday against Elshan. Tell us a bit about how did you approach this uh, game with the white pieces against uh, Alexander Lenderman? Yeah, I had two piece sets to do after my game with Elshan, so I just spent the night working on homework. Um, <laughs> didn't really have much time to look at anything really, and um, yeah, I was like out of book after move three, so um, basically like I, I, I didn't really know what to do against the Slav. Um, and I guess that just kind of happens when you're sub 2700 level, you know. I mean, you like to watch the guys like Kawana, but sometimes you have to look at my games just to see the struggle <laughs> for the rest of us. So yeah, I saw Jeffrey played Queen C2 against Dariush, so I was like, okay, Jeffrey used to be 2700, probably it's a decent move. Um, and yeah, we got some normal position, I think. I, I, so you were playing from memory, yeah? from. No, Distant I mean, memories of the past, watching a game of yeah, Jeffrey. Yeah, I don't think, sure, I'll play Queen C2. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, I was well out of books, so I thought like I would just play something random, um, maybe lose this game quickly, then get back to homework again. <laughs> um, so, so, you know, I, w I was really surprised when actually I, I got a decent position because I don't think Queen C2 is the main move, but... Ah, it's, um, it's a move, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a move at least. Bishop so, 5, G3. Yeah, okay, this apparently is some kind of line. And yeah, a4 looked interesting. The idea is that in some lines after knight b6, and then maybe my d4 pawn is hanging. Mm -hmm. So if I provoke a4, a5, then mm. like his knight on b6 will be very loose. After um, queen so, to b3. Yeah, or... here I might have like knight h4, rook e1, something like that. Um, yeah, I was just happy that he wasn't blitzing anything out anymore. So um, I didn't hang a piece and <laughs> basically. You took him um, out of uh, his, yeah. his preparation so, for sure. Yeah, so here, I mean, Probably he's equalizing after takes takes bishop b4, um, but at least I have my pawn a5, so I have like some space advantage, and also the center is very secure. Um, and yeah, I think basically it was equal until I'm not sure he played e5. Um, if you keep going. Yep. So yeah, I just traded some pieces, and I think this is totally fine. Yeah, and here he played e5, which I wasn't, I didn't really understand what the point was. Um, I thought maybe if he just played like knight b6 instead, or I mean. Queen takes a5, it's very normal position. I mean, a, it, yeah, yeah, the a pawn is a little weak, but okay, he should be able to hold. And, and like a lot of cases, like the 5 on 4 is not even Winning that, that a lot of Yeah, yeah. Games. Especially if, like, let's say I have e4, e5, then like that's definitely holdable. So, so yeah, I think probably he was, he was just a little overconfident. Um, you know, when I got the wild card, I sort of thought that the St. Louis Chess Club like always needs a punching bag. So <laughs> it looked like, um, yeah, he probably thought like I blundered something, but I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, and after D takes E5, like he thought for quite a while. So um, yeah, normally that's not a good sign when you're like sacrificing pawns. Pretty sure if you're 2600, you can never call yourself mm -hmm. a punching <laughs> bag. <laughs> queen to A2, Queen takes A2, and you felt quite comfortable with the uh, huge majority on king side. Yeah, yeah, here, I mean, it's probably, it might not be winning, but I think practically it's just very hard for him to defend this. Like he has to generate counterplay in like very unexpected ways, and I think probably like after Bishop e3 knight e4 it looked oh, maybe almost okay for him. Mm -hmm. um, like yeah, maybe here knight c3 or something, and then rook c8 and try and trade a pair of rooks because yeah, once he trades the rooks, then um, the like a pawn, pawn yeah, basically like I I would much rather have two rooks on the board so that when rook is active. And here, like, okay, he has a lot of counterplay. Um, but but he yeah, did not I think. Play this, he played yeah, and especially six. after knight d6, um, yeah, he allowed rook c7 and the rook gets to the seventh rank. And, like, okay, now his entire queen side is falling apart. Um, Absolutely. So, yeah, I mean, probably just an off day for Alex because, yeah, his play seemed a little strange in the middle game. But, yeah, still happy to get the win. Uh, very happy to get the win. No wonder you, you mentioned that you're doing homework. How do you balance your academic career as well as your chess career? Yeah, I think um, at the moment I'm much more of a student than a chess player. Um, you know, it's really funny because I was going to come in here and talk about how it's it's really hard to do everything, and like school is taking a lot of time um, from my preparation. Um, but then I see Jennifer in the other section, also in college, winning all her games, <laughs> and like that excuse <laughs> doesn't hold up that much water anymore. Um, probably got to ask her how it's done. Um, from my end, yeah, I mean I would like to play better chess going forward, but I guess we'll see. Like. And yeah. what do you study in college at the University of Chicago? Um, 
we're taking various classes right now. Um, the major is still undecided. So, you know, plenty of directions to go, mm -hmm. still figuring it out. And but, you mentioned this tournament uh, that you're going to miss school to your professors. What was uh, their response? Um, most of them said, like, the first line was like, congratulations. <laughs> and then the second line was like, I still expect you to turn everything in on time. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, not much we can do on that end. But yeah, still glad to be here. Um, it, it's, a good, it's a great event. And, and yeah, you know, it's, it's been an enjoyable experience thus far. I wonder, congratulations, we'll see you in the remainder of the games. Thank you. Uh, lovely oh interview there. Gosh. I can understand that this 